Hi guys, Mike with Curtis Valves. And in this video, we'll be introducing our all new oil quick drain valve for Can-Am Maverick models and walking through the Maverick X3 oil change procedure. When turning our focus from aviation drain valves to the Can-Am Maverick, we were determined to eliminate negative aspects of changing your engine oil, specifically the mess. Our solution combines a Burley Curtis quick drain valve and a procedure adopted from other Rotax ACE 900 applications. Together, these make for the quickest and cleanest oil service procedure possible. The design incorporates an activation tool used to function the valve. This design has been reliably used throughout the aviation industry for decades. The Curtis oil drain valve replaces your large 17 millimeter oil drain plug. Installation is a breeze and can be done through your factory skid plate access hole. The X3 has a total engine oil capacity of 3.7 quarts. People familiar with servicing it know that you can drain about 2.7 quarts from the main plug. To drain the remaining quart, we adopt specific aspects of the SeaDo oil service procedure for Rotax engines. The SeaDo procedure requires extracting the used oil through a pump placed in the oil dipstick tube and implementing drown mode multiple times to remove as much oil as possible. Our procedure eliminates the need for an extraction pump. Simply lock open the oil drain valve and let gravity work for you. Now let's talk about drown mode. What is it? Drown mode is a feature used to push water out of a submerged engine, most often used in marine applications. Additionally, it is used to change the oil when plug access is not possible. The procedure disables the fuel injectors and ignition from firing while allowing use of the starter to crank the engine over without actually starting the engine. This is a necessity for marine applications and can be easily verified on your X3 by following these basic steps. First, connect your key. Then, fully depress and hold the accelerator pedal down. Then push and hold the start button for five seconds. Release the start button. Lastly, release the accelerator pedal. This all ties together to create a super clean, simple oil change process, and I'm gonna demonstrate start to finish for you. Begin with removing the dust cover from your Curtis valve. Connect Curtis drain tool to the valve through the skid plate. Direct your hose to your oil container. Start your machine and let it idle for two to three minutes to warm up. Shut off the engine. Remove your oil dipstick. Lock open Curtis valve with a push and a counterclockwise twist of the drain hose. Once oil stops flowing, we're gonna complete a five second drown mode cycle. We suggest pushing both the brake and the throttle at the same time to eliminate any possibility of mistakes. Once oil stops flowing from the drain hose, complete another five second drown mode cycle. While the oil finishes draining, we'll change the oil filter. Remove the cover. You'll notice most of the oil in the filter housing has been drained as well. No more spilling oil down the sides. Install new oil filter and gasket. Torque bolts to 89 inch pounds or 7.4 foot pounds. Twist drain hose clockwise to close the valve and disconnect the hose. Fill the motor with three and a half quarts and reinstall the dipstick. Complete a five second drown mode cycle to help prime oil throughout the system. Then start your engine and let it warm up. Let engine idle for about two minutes, then shut the engine off and check your oil level. Add oil if necessary. Take a look at the oil drain area, and if no leaks are present, go ahead and replace the dust cover. Say goodbye to those custom funnels and oil pumps. Visit our website in the description below and get your own Curtis Quick Drain Valve today.